Marcus Williams to serve. Play. called on the very first serve. Whoa. That's disconcerting. <laughs> Lindsay Davenport is firing. Look at the way she, she took that ball early. She was immediately approaching. good too. Lynn Welch not going to overrule this early in the match. But Kathleen, did you see the power with which they were hitting? hesitation on the part of either player. touch there though from Venus and she set up the point she used the drop shot to put herself in position not to finish off the point They have come out of the blocks. Doesn't look like the rain delay has derailed them, disturbed them at all. Venus Williams holds her serve. Just a reminder, please no flash photography during play. Thank you. It's beginning to get a little dark here. The flash from cameras more noticeable than it would be during the day. The change ends. Davenport will serve. Davenport earlier this year out of Two clay court events with an ankle injury. Then I mentioned the back. And in Montreal, she pulled out after the first set with a left foot injury. Look at Venus Williams. She started out very slowly yesterday against Hingis.
Well, Lindsay Davenport said, as you take a look at Richard Williams in the box. And there's Serena up in the upper left hand corner. Her head down just a little bit. Lindsay said that she's going to try and take advantage of those big ground strokes of Venus Williams, trying to force her to, to hit that ball out, hit it wide. Well, that serve double faulted out of respect for the return of Williams. League overhead. Obviously, and Venus Williams. not wanting to play a long, drawn out match. Lindsay says with Venus, it's just a different game. She serves much bigger, hits the ball much harder. So it's a lot harder to control where you want the ball to go because it's coming at you a lot faster. So it's what she's going to do, try to keep those balls deep, and not let Venus step into the return. Well, she was comparing playing Venus to playing Elena Dementieva. There's no comparison. No, but that's still a good game plan. Yeah. gave her a short ball. What I like about the way Williams is playing so far is she's not stepping back. She is moving forward. She's willing to come into the net on every point and dare Davenport to pass her. Serve down the middle, Davenport holds. One all here in the first. One game all. Only two players have ever beaten both Williams sisters in a tournament. And both times it happened in Sydney, Australia in 98. Arancha Sanchez Vicario beat Serena in the semis and Venus in the final. 99, Sydney, Steffi Groff. Beat Serena in the round of 16 and Venus in the quarters. And then she lost to Davenport in the final. Open a little bit for Lindsay Davenport. Love 30. Oh, Davenport 
Beautiful backhand down the line. A fistful of break points to go up. 2-1 here in the first set. It's amazing because she was so on the defensive on that point. the ball up by Venus's points. shoulders and expect to continue playing the point. Venus saves one break point. Still a couple left for Davenport. with the first break in the first set against Venus Williams. She's up two games to one. That women's two games to one. The tail of the tape, Kathleen, in this match is as it was yesterday, unforced errors by Venus so far. Venus looking a lot more positive though in her posture facial expression than she did in that first set against Martina Hingis. Remember what just three years ago Venus debuted here, had a different outfit for each match with the intention of wearing all of them and winning the tournament. This time we've seen her same costume every day. Let me take a look at the sky down to the fans here at Arthur Ashe Stadium. We've lost a few. If you're just joining us, we were in a rain delay for about an hour and 45 minutes. The sky looks a little bit darker on your television than it does to us. A few pink clouds here as the sun goes down almost 10 minutes after 7 in the evening here in New York. And this is the women's final. Venus Williams and Lindsay Davenport. We've seen a great day of tennis, Super Saturday. Todd Martin fell in three sets to the 20-year-old Russian, Murat Safin. And we had the Millennium Conference here in New York. I believe one of our diplomats from the United Nations in the house, President Bill Clinton in the house today. But he has since left. Lindsay Davenport will serve. She's Thank up you. a break, 2-1. That second semifinal match was Pete Sampras against the 19-year-old Leighton Hewitt. Sampras advanced in three sets. So it'll be a Sampras Safin finals. It's almost as if these two players went into the locker room during the rain delay and played the match in their minds because they've come out so strong. There's no hesitation. There's Richard Williams next to Serena. Well, Serena moved down. It was nice of her, so we could get them both in the same shot. for his departure when Venus missed a drop shot late in that third set. He got up, walked out, not to be seen again. In fact, was seen by a colleague of mine getting into a transport car, heading back to the city, saying Thank he has you. a business meeting, saying, have a nice day. But I thought it was, to be honest, terrible message sent to his daughter. Well, it came at a, at a point where it really looked bleak for Venus Williams. and interpreted by many to mean that he had sort of given up on his daughter. Venus was asked about that in a press conference. She said it didn't, she said it didn't bother her at all, that 
Her game was really all in her head and her responsibility. She didn't rely on her dad or her family to win on the court. Well, that is what Richard Williams has taught his daughters. 30 all. Oh, not a strong serve, just 92 miles per hour, but nicely placed by Davenport. She got out wide on the first serve and fired one up the middle. The Davenport holds. She's up a break in the first 3 1. Sixteen miles per hour, strongest so far. Venus Williams serves her first ace. Kathleen, I am amazed at the high quality of this match in only the fifth game. Given yesterday, Davenport didn't have to struggle. She had those two walkabout games in the second set where she should have closed it out and then didn't, but Venus really did struggle. I never thought it would be this high quality this early, particularly because Venus and Martina Hingis's match was of such tremendous quality. First double fault. 15-30. for Lindsay Davenport to go up a second break. I may be throwing a gigantic jinx around Davenport's head, but this is looking an awful lot like the Serena match right now. looking very relaxed. Yeah. Venus fights off two great points, brings it back to Deuce. Well, remember, no matter what happens in this match, one of these players will have two Grand Slam championships for the year. Lindsay won the Australian, Venus won Wimbledon. And Martina Hingis, for the first time in four years, did not win a major. Mary Pierce took Roland Garros. And Venice Davenport. And with her second double fault, Davenport's got another break point. Sampras has that flying overhead. Venus Williams has that flying take the ball in the air. Well, that's called the Jimmy Connors sky hook. It's a side arm shot, really popularized by Connors. We're back to Deuce. And Venus Williams. Venus changing up the pace of her serves. That one just 83 miles per hour. Oh, but it had so much spin out wide. She comes back on that. 
that volley. It's almost as if she ran into it. See, it was sort of a last minute decision to come in because she knew Davenport was compromised. She opened up the racket face just a little too much. Another break point for Davenport. She's up four games to one. Davenport four games to one. I am pretty amazed so far with the calm that Lindsay Davenport is playing. That was a 55 mile an hour serve from Venus. Much of a serve there, but Davenport didn't put it away. I actually think that Davenport moves much more fluidly than Williams with those huge, long, gangly legs. She actually looks a little bit uncoordinated out there, and yet she's got great speed and agility. That's the errors I'm talking about. Excuse me, look at the errors for Davenport, just three so far. This is just the quality of tennis we were hoping for. Just the quality of tennis. Everybody in this Arthur Ashe Stadium was hoping for. Sat out the rain delay. Anticipating the meeting of these two women. Please quickly, please. Thank you. Time. We're in the first set. Lindsay Davenport is up two breaks. She will serve to put even more distance between she and Venus Williams. She will serve at four games to one. Second double fault for Davenport. Lead for serve. Williams just giving her too many free points, but I'll tell you, Davenport's not letting her play. The challenge for her is going to be to hold it. Yesterday, she was at 5-2, then it was 5-4. Oh. V 
Venus just stretched Davenport wide. Force the air. Venus Williams with a break point. gets one the two breaks back here in the first set she'll serve two, two games two. to four slightly loose game there from Davenport as deep as she could and not give Williams the chance to stand on the baseline and charge forward. If Lindsay Davenport has one flaw, it is her movement and her mobility. It's not up to the standard of a Williams. Led for sir. This place is taking on sort of a gothic image. It's foggy around. You can't see the sky anymore. Take a look. A little bit of fog up around those very high lights from the rain we had. Another footfall called on oh Venus Williams. Oh my gosh, on a 110 mile per hour ace. Yike. That brings Lindsay Davenport to another break point. Get that second break back here in the first set. 30-40. Williams fight back, fights back. One point from the game. And Williams holds. 4-3 Davenport in the first. Davenport leaves four games to three. Speaking of movement on the court, both of these women very tall. Venus Williams, very graceful, quick. Great movement toward the net.
She has a dancer's legs, dancer's body for that matter. You see both of those wrists wrapped as we mentioned. I suffered some tendonitis in both of them in the past. Davenport, I think she has a nervous habit oh. that she ties her shoes at every changeover, reties them. And As I, I mentioned, the fog rolling in. As this afternoon match has become an evening match, about 7.30 in the evening, Lindsay Davenport is up a break in the first set, this women's final of the U.S. Open. She will serve four games to three. That side there. And there was a little bit of a danger in the incredibly fast start she got. Hard to maintain that level. And now her unforced errors are really creeping up. And an opening for Williams. 15.30. This is all based on unforced errors. You have to see, though, Venus Williams cheating in about a foot in Side the baseline to receive that serve. And the problem when you win three straight games is you start to feel a little bit invincible. The problem is if you won three straight, your opponent can just as easily. A couple break points to go for all in the first. Davenport saves one. Second break point. We're all even in the first four games apiece. Four games all. There's the Williams player box. Mom Orsine in the middle. Very heavy conditions out on court. See Davenport really sweating profusely.
point. She was only two of four on her net points one, and that was a big one. Kathleen Mias was asked yesterday on her thoughts on playing Lindsay, and I thought she gave a downright bizarre answer. She started to talk about Serena's loss to Lindsay, and she said she didn't play well in any shape or form, and I felt bad that she had to learn a lesson like that. and she's got to keep reminding herself of that. But Venus went on to say, I feel that it should have been me, that I should have lost like that so she could have taken the example from me and not have to suffer in such a manner. Usually that's how it goes. And Davenport with a chance to get a break back. Mistaken there. Venus Williams holds. We're at 5 4 in the first set. Just to continue on that thought, Venus was then asked you know, strategically what did she learn from Serena? What did she have to do? And she just looked up again and said, well, I think Lindsay played well, but I think most of us, Serena played badly. She wouldn't make any shots. She was hitting across the ball. Serena, what are you doing today? It was the weirdest thing. It was then that she was asked, where is Serena? Well, sometimes some of those statements from both Venus and Serena about their confidence, about their experience against other players, been taken by some other players as being somewhat arrogant or overconfident. We started at the beginning of this match, talk a little bit about a conversation that happened between Martina Hengis and Lindsay Davenport in the locker room. Both of them just a little more comfortable with each other than they are with either of the Williams sisters. There's that nervous habit well, perhaps that Lindsay Davenport has. And they just said to each other, egged each other on, saying, listen, go on out there and we'll play each other in the finals. But Lindsay has been very, very careful to say afterwards listen Time. it's not that I don't want to didn't want to see an all Williams final or anything else but as long as I'm in the tournament I want to be in the finals Absolutely. I don't care who I play at the end I just don't want to I just don't want, don't want to be knocked out of it I have nothing against the Williams sisters at all oh baloney sure she does she doesn't like the bravado with which the Williams mm -hmm. sisters carry themselves Lindsay Davenport is very humble well Lindsay you know, her Davenport Olympic medal is in her mother's sock draw Lindsay Davenport is serving four games to five here in the first set. And now love 15. Aside for the fact that Davenport needs this game to stay in the set, she needs it mentally. And she does not want to concede five consecutive games. Well, at 15-30, she loses this game. She's lost this set. 15-30. Davenport struggling to hold serve. Well, she's completely on the defensive now. And she knows she's got to get that first serve in. And she's at just 48%. And the problem is she's got to go for it on the second serve because otherwise, Williams is going to climb all over. Well, we've got a couple set points for Venus Williams. 
For her to take the first set. And she'll get a look at a second serve. Lindsay Davenport having won just 39% of her second serve points. And she throws in her fourth double fault to lose the first set. Six games to four. I don't know what's going through the head of Lindsay Davenport, but every time she missed a serve, she winced. And I wonder if she's feeling okay. Just utterly disgusted. Took a 4-1 lead. The next thing she knew, the set was gone. Again, she knows she's got to go for it on every single serve. But she played those first four games, first five games, really, like I had never seen Davenport play. There's the first set summary, unforced errors. You expect more for Williams, because she goes for more, but 15 winners as well. Set summary isn't that distinguishable, and yet Davenport, as I said, just two games away from taking the first set, and she lost five consecutive games. She was two points away from a 5-1 lead. And I knew that Davenport had to start off strong, but you can't afford to falter. Remember, Venus yesterday losing the first set to Hingis, nearly out of the match, and then coming back to win. Very good come from behind player because the fact is that Venus Williams never believes she's going to lose. She has a mental fortitude, a confidence level, orders on bombacity. Well, we're going to open the second set. Venus Williams will serve. She's taken the first six games to four. In just 43 minutes. Second set. for Lindsay to be in because Williams is a good front runner. Days for Venus. Oh, with a little help from the net. She holds the love game. The first game of the second set. She is streaming around the court full of confidence. Venus Williams filled out a uh, a profiling chart from the WTA tour. She called her mother her discipliner, her five-star chef. She also happens to coach her. Williams said her favorite movies are horror films, although they're extremely frightening and she often wants to leave the theater. Her other sports interests are sumo wrestling and surfing. She says she claims to have an eye for fine diamonds and precious stones. She has amazing nocturnal 
abilities. And her life goal is to avoid further speeding violations. But my favorite is her favorite place to play, her favorite place to go, any place that accepts credit cards. And one of the more interesting player profiles. There's the third ace from Davenport, 104 miles per hour, 30-15. This should boost Davenport to know that the crowd is so squarely behind her. Venus taking a very good look at that. Another look at the chair umpire, but she'll let it go. <laughs> and Davenport with her arms up in the air. Cold serve. <laughs> She's looking over to the player box, a very sweet smile on her face. To say, boy, I was getting clocked there. We are one all, one all in the second set. No flash photography during play. Thank you. It is hard to see that high ball under the lights, especially when it's a little bit hazy with the fog. Second serve, Davenport moves in, moves through the ball. Well, this is exactly what she did in those first five games, and then she suddenly backed off. Now she's got a couple break points. Oh. Still break point for Davenport. But a very open stance with which she hit that. Just wide. Yeah. Davenport breaks. Yeah. Venus can't believe the call. I thought it was good. No way Lynn Welch can overrule that on the far side. Very close. Looked like right on. So Davenport gets the first break here in the second set. She'll come out to serve at 2-1. Venus is not going to let that call upset her. No, she doesn't melt down anymore. She was, she was asked yesterday what the difference in her now from three years ago when she debuted here. She said, oh my gosh, I'm a completely different player. I didn't know what I was doing then. I had absolutely no idea. When she called, she called herself a yearling, I think. Yeah, that's exactly what she said. I have no regrets in 97 because I, I just didn't know what I was doing, basically. But she did say now her serve is better. So maybe my thought process also is much better to say the most important thing as far as the difference. Well, I'm taking a look down into the player box of the Williamses. Richard Williams has vacated the seat he was in before. Oh. He's been known to get up and walk around the stadium a little bit during a match and then return. 
We're in the second set. Lindsay Davenport is up a break. She'll serve at 2-1. This is the finals. The City. women's singles finals of the U.S. Open. Kathleen sitting next to Serena is a guy named Brad who's been serving as a hitting partner for the Williams sisters. He's a good friend of my pal Jimmy Arias. Davenport opens her service game with a double fault. That's her fifth. Remember, she ended the last set with two back-to-back -back double faults. see why she goes for so much on that second serve because out of, it's out of great respect for Williams return in a way they're forced double faults love 30 not sure how much Davenport is really believing in herself right now. Their posture is completely different. When Davenport first came up on the tour, that was her biggest problem, was believing in herself. She had so little self-confidence. As a kid, her mother would sort of jab her in the ribs and say, stand up straight, dear. She used to hate being t so tall. She would go crazy if anybody told her to wear high heels, whereas the Williams sisters have relished it. And Venus Williams. And Venus Williams has a break point. Let her serve. Her serve is really letting her down. And that creates all of the points for Davenport. Oh. Williams. And Venus Williams breaks. We're back on serve. We're at two all in the second set. Two games on. smile and ease and comfort Davenport was wearing in that first set she seems to have disappeared it's long since been buried to Davenport to break that mm -hmm. five-match losing streak to Serena Williams. She's got a two-match losing streak to Venus. Oh. 15 There's a double fault. Just the fourth from Williams. Fifteen all. Oh. 
15. Well, that yeah. should show Davenport that Williams feels she needs to be just as perfect on the serve. It should help her to lift her shoulders a little bit, but it's not. 15-30. Just wide. I, think I wanted to yell at you in the middle of the point. Look at where the two of them are standing. Venus Williams on the baseline, slugging it. Davenport's three feet behind it, trying to defend. But Davenport gets a double break point. Well, that's what she should be saying to herself. Look, I'm not playing great, but I'm still in this match. You want to say to her, snap out of it. It's Lindsay who should have been cheating in on that serve. Dare Williams. Still break point for Davenport. Just long. Deuce. To Deuce. Davenport held a 21 match win streak at the beginning of the year, including the Australian Open. Then she started with those injuries. She said she feels like she's playing as well as she did at the Australian, but not tonight, she's not. <laughs> Meanwhile, Venus Williams looking for her 26th match in a row. She's got so much talent on that drive. She should have been moving forward the minute she hit that last backhand. Williams was completely compromised. Such a small window. Place that ball. Deuce. Ladies and gentlemen, as a curse of players, please do not call out during the point. Somebody Thank yelled you. out, thinking the point was over sooner. We're back to Deuce. Point opportunity for Davenport. And she'll get a second serve. Break points Venus to save in this game. And she'll get another opportunity. Davenport to go up 3 2 here in the second set.
Venezuela. Four break points if she can't capitalize on them. I think Davenport is going to be wildly demoralized. And at 109 miles per hour, Venus Williams holds. Back on serve in the second. Three games to two. Williams is three games to two. Saw a shot of Serena Williams in the player's box, Cindy. Sunglasses on. I'm always surprised at how unemotional both sisters look when they watch each other. She looks a lot more positive than Venus did last year watching Serena come through. Well, you've got to wonder whether the look on Serena's face will be similar to the look on Venus's face. Honestly, Kathleen, I don't think so because now they both have a major title. You know, they both have a grand slam. They're heading to the Olympics from here. I don't for a minute think that Serena won't be competing at the Olympics, even though she pulled out of the doubles here. Venus admitting she was a little bit disappointed that her kid sister popped out the other day, saying, I like to win every match. Thank you. Serena, after a loss to Lindsay Davenport, very early the next morning, pulled out of the doubles with Venus. Official reason, problem with the seismoid bone near her big toe, very small bone in her foot. That's the same injury that sidelined her in Canada. But as I said, not even a hint that they wouldn't be playing the Olympics. Just a minute or so after 8 o'clock in the evening here in New York. Players have been on the court an hour and five minutes or so. Davenport serving 2-3 in the second. Only six points separate these two players in total points one, and yet I feel like Venus has a gigantic lead. Just wide. Smart shot, though. Yeah, it is wide. 30 love. That's a better shot from Davenport. Davenport holds with three games apiece in the second. I just wanted to pick those shoulders up. Three games on.
15 long. Court looks very heavy in the legs today. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm not referring to the size of her legs. Just doesn't quite moving the way she normally does. It's a six double fault for Williams. There's Richard Williams. He's returned to his place in the player box next to Serena. to three. Davenport looks across the net. She sees a very fresh Venus Williams, spry-like. And she's winning 69% when she's getting the first serve in, which still isn't all that great. Well, we're in the second set. Venus Williams has taken the first 6-4. Lindsay Davenport is serving three games to four. Obviously, is a must hold. She knows should she lose this game, Venus Williams would serve for the set and the match. And you know what? She didn't come in on that ball. She should have been in at the net, taking it midair. She caught a break because it was just, she was trying to chase it out. 15 all. Davenport throws in a double fault. Still one point from the game. Even it up at four games all. And 
we are. Four games all in the second set. Four games all. Easy service game for Venus. Yep, she holds it, love. 5-4 in second set. Super Saturday, so dubbed in 84. And four matches on this court lasted until John McEnroe took out Jimmy Connors at 11.17 p.m. We will no way be here at that hour. They did away with the men's senior match starting off the day's program. But I remember in 88, very dramatic day. It was a stomach flu running around the grounds and it nearly wiped out the entire schedule. Chris Everett was forced to default her singles match. That was the first one we walked on in the grounds, we heard that. And then later on, Rick Leach and Jim Pugh were scheduled to play in the doubles final. And they had to default that. Rick Leach was taken off in a stretcher with intravenous fluids dripping into his body. We thought it was food poisoning. It turned out to be a stomach bug. Ten years ago, Pete Sampras became the youngest U.S. Open men's singles champion. We beat Andre Agassi in straight sets. He was just 19 years and 28 days. We're in the second set of the women's finals here at the U.S. Open. Lindsay Davenport will serve to bring it to five games all in the second set. Should Venus Williams break her? The title would be hers. <laughs> Kathleen, did I say 1984? I meant Davenport throws in her seventh double fault of the match. 15 Williams, all. Williams is three points for the championship. Thank you. Now, Davenport could convince herself that she's playing really mediocre tennis right now and she's still hanging with Williams if she can just pull herself together and lift it a little bit. Oh, that ball goes down Port's way. Sometimes turning points rest on a net court winner. 40-15. Remember Boris Becker on the stadium court playing Derek Rostagno in the first round and Annette Cord slipped over Rostagno's racket on match point and Becker went on to win it. Forehand from Williams goes long. Davenport holds. We're five games apiece in the second set. Five games on. There's a 
clouds have cleared a little bit. Beautiful shot of the moon. Saturday, the 9th of September. Williams throws in a double fault. Her seventh of the match. Love, 30. points for Lindsay Davenport. Well, you heard somebody in the stands yell down, play to win, Lindsay. Thank you. Forehand sails long. Still a break point for Davenport. Go up 6-5 in the second set. in a little bit. Deuce. Long. She had her where she wanted her. It's a good return and an even better second ball. And that's the one right there. She should have moved in. Look at how she just keeps pulling herself back. Defensive play. We're at deuce. Just 90 miles per hour, but spinning out. Wide on Davenport, advantage Williams. And she slaps her thigh, Venus Williams holds. 6-5 in the second set. She is one game away from the title. Six games to five. It's got to be a big boost of confidence for Williams there, and very disappointing for Davenport. Had the opportunity to break. She had the ball to break. She had a forehand cross court deep into the court. She should have moved in, taken a chance. Three of 15 on break points. These are not numbers that Lindsay Davenport is going to rest easily with tonight. way up there, but they've made a nice big sign support of Venus Williams. They also knew the camera was behind them. They're exactly across the length of the court from us. Time. Lindsay Davenport try to keep her hopes alive. We're in the finals of the U.S. Open. She's serving at 5-6 in the second set. She lost the first 4-6. Williams, just three points from the U.S. Open Championship. Where was that shot at 
15-40 in the last game. <laughs> Easy for me to say from up here. Serena Williams left her U.S. Open trophy at her parents' house when she and Venus moved. I'd like to put a v U.S. Open trophy next to Venus's Wimbledon plate. Did not go over. Just two points away, Venus Williams. $800,000 prize, and a lot more than that. Davenport hangs on, it's 30 all. <laughs> There's that emotion from Serena Williams. It is match point for Venus Williams. For the U.S. Open Championship. Thank you. champion year 2000 over Lindsay Davenport 6475 the Williams family is holding up some sort of sheep Change some words with her mom or a scene. Serena. Congratulations. Last year, we saw Venus in the stands looking on, watching Serena win this year. His positions have changed, have switched. <laughs> oh, you're all so bad. I'm telling you, buddy. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, you want to, man. Richard Williams coming down out of the box. Lindsay's got to be disappointed in her play today. Thank you, Venus. Well, Venus is going to share this moment with her dad, Richard, her coach. We'll bring him onto the court with her. That might be a first. I'm not sure I've ever seen a champion bring a parent down with them. We saw Pete Sampras climb up into the stands at Wimbledon to hug his parents, never seen at a major. great champions. It's now my pleasure to introduce the president of the United States Tennis Association, Judy Levering. Judy? The USTA would like to thank all the fans who have made this such a wonderful tournament and made the U.S. Open of the year 2000 such a great success. 
It's been a great tournament, and it's been a great year for tennis in America. Thank you, Judy. It's now my privilege to introduce Mr. Bill Harrison, Chairman and CEO of the Chase Manhattan Bank, to present the runner-up check. Bill? Thank you, Tony. It's great to be here again. And on behalf of Chase, as a sponsor of the Women's Championship here at the U.S. Open, we're just delighted to have such a strong relationship with Winners Ten Tennis through the sponsorship here of the U.S. Open and the championships at the Madison Square Garden. But we're pr particularly pleased to sponsor the Chase Tennis Camp for Girls in the five boroughs of New York. But most importantly, there's nothing more exciting than the U.S. Open. We've had two fantastic weeks, and I want to present the check to the runner-up, Lindsay Davenport. Lindsay, you had a wonderful tournament. You are a great champion. Congratulations. to present you the Runners Up Award in recognition of yet another fantastic tournament. Lindsay, congratulations on a terrific tournament. I guess it's safe to say that your serve sort of let you down tonight. Yeah, I felt like I was doing everything pretty well, but uh, just didn't serve the way I'd like to. But uh, a lot of credit to Venus. She was playing great and uh, really forced me to try and do better, and I just couldn't do it. Well, you had a great tournament. Congratulations. Now, Bill, I think you have something for our champion. I sure do. And I just want to congratulate Venus for an absolutely fabulous tournament. It was so exciting to watch you out there. And Venus, I have a particular pleasure this year because last year I stood here and gave the check to your sister. And so it gives me a great honor this year to give a check for $750,000 to a great champion. Venus at 1-4 uh, down in the first set, things were looking pretty grim for you. I, uh, I didn't feel that way exactly. This is a grand slam. You always try your hardest, and I felt there was just a few things I needed to change, and fortunately enough, things kept going the right way for me. Well, I don't think we've ever seen anybody cover the court like you did, and I think it made you tough for Lindsay. Well, I don't know. I really have some some wheels on myself and I'm really speedy these days <laughs> so it's helped me out a lot but I just I'm just really happy right now well I can understand that the Wimbledon champion now the champion of the United States Open and Judy you have a trophy for our champion on behalf of all the fans around the world and here in the United States it is my pleasure to present the trophy for the 2000 U.S. Open Women's Singles Champion to Venus Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2000 U.S. Open Women's Singles Champion, Venus Williams. women's singles champion is Venus Williams. She wins in two sets over Lindsay Davenport. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night from New York. <laughs>